Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create this cardboard perspective illusion and become invisible using Adobe After Effects. So let's jump right into it. First let's see what we need to prepare for the shoot. Of course you'll need some cardboard. I started by cutting out some parts from the cardboard which will cover my body. Since we'll also use a lot of tracking, it's probably not the worst idea to put some tracking marks on it. And finally I used some wires to attach the cardboard to my body. Then I put a camera on a tripod and first recorded a clean plate. Make sure the camera stays in the exact same position and then record a shot with the cardboard. To make this work the whole body needs to be covered by the cardboard in the beginning. Once you move and start revealing the body, you can also lift up the camera and walk around to make the shot more dynamic and realistic. And that's it basically, so you can start editing. Before that I would like to quickly mention Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a tool every filmmaker will appreciate. You can find there thousands of creative assets and templates for any kind of project you're working on. They offer great stock footage, including green screen clips like fog, fire, lightning and literally anything you'll need. Apart from that this library also includes awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. Envato Elements is a huge time saver and helps you create videos faster. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's jump into After Effects. I started by placing the shots on the timeline, the clean plate and the main shot. What we want to do is use parts of the clean plate and track them onto the cardboard. So select the main shot and search for Mocha AE. Open it up and grab the x tool. Draw a shape around the piece of the cardboard you want to track. I'll start with this piece which is on top of the others. Then click this button to show the planar surface and adjust it to match the perspective of the cardboard. Also enable to track perspective and you can change the amount of pixels used for tracking. Now you can start tracking. If you see some problems you can adjust the track. Next save the file in Mocha and go back to After Effects. Duplicate the clean plate and place it on top of the timeline. You can disable the visibility and use pen tool to draw a shape around the cardboard. Then pre-compose this layer and choose move all attributes into the new comp. Now because of the tracking method we are using, we need to stretch this to fill the entire frame. First use this button called region of interest and draw a shape around the mask. Then go to Composition and click Crop Comp to Region of Interest. Go back to the main comp and pre-compose it one more time. Now use the Corner Print effect to stretch the layer and fill the entire frame. Finally pre-compose it one last time. Next we're going to apply the tracking data to this layer. Select the main shot and in the Mocha effect under Tracking Data, click Create Track Data. Make sure the tracking layer is selected. Then select the corner pin with Motion Blur and choose the correct layer, which in this case is Arm. And apply the export. Then use the Power Pin or Corner Pin effect to make it fill the whole area of the cardboard. And you can also use the transform effect. You might also need to adjust it inside of the pre-comp. Next animate the opacity to go from 0 to 100%. I think it looks pretty seamless. Furthermore, we need to fix the ending where the front side of the cardboard disappears. 
For this I again used the power pin and transform effect and animated some properties. Now we need to repeat this process with the other pieces of cardboard. Again select the main shot, open a mocha and draw a shape around the cardboard. You can see that the pieces of cardboard are overlapping a bit. So put the layer which is closer to camera, in this case arm, at the top of the layer pile. Then change some settings and start tracking. Save the project and close Mocha. Duplicate the clean plate layer and draw a mask around the cardboard. Stretch it to fill the entire frame. Then create a track data. In this case we'll use leg and apply the export to the leg layer. Again match it with the background using the power pin effect. Additionally enable the motion blur. Now repeat the process one last time for the head. Next, to cover up the cardboard in the beginning, move the clean plate layer above the main shot and grab the pen tool. Draw a mask around the cardboard and feather it out a bunch. Then animate the opacity to go from 100 to 0%. Finally pre-compose everything, add some fake camera movement and top it all off with some color grading. And we are done. If you found this helpful please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.